bright red fire truck, firefighters in full gear, smoke, flames, even fire extinguishers. You'd be excused for thinking this was an emergency. But the Cherry Creek Fire Department is actually working to avert 911 calls before they're even made. We were asked to come here today to do a fire extinguisher demonstration. It's part of the mandate um, under fire underwriters to do public education. And also, it's a great thing for the community to learn how to use the equipment they have in their house properly and effectively before we get there. And for former airline attendant Tinika Smallenberg, it was a welcome refresher course. Push, push, push. Oh, we're Brother in girl. trouble now. There you go. I did it for the last time for my work about seven years ago and I needed to practice again and I thought slow. it was excellent. Slow, slow, yeah. but here, just aim it and sweep back and forth. You think you just aim at the fire and it's all aiming at the bottom and sweeping it from left to right and back again and that's how you very quickly get a fire out. So I think everybody learned something today. A lot of people have a fire extinguisher at home but they they say that they're not familiar with, they've never used it, don't know how to use it, so they're it's good to educate. Under five pounds. Uh, one of the things is you'll notice they don't last long. Sorry. People are surprised how much they really do not know about fire extinguishers and how long they last or don't last actually. They're very short span things, they're very, very small fires. Um, you have to be very careful where you use them and where you place them um, in your house. Make sure they're by the exits and not inside your house so you don't get yourself trapped into a building. I, it's very, very important and when I go home, I'm going to check where my fire extinguisher is in the house because I have, right now, I have no idea where it is and that's really bad. The consensus among okay. all the participants was that this was an extremely useful demonstration and it's a service that most fire departments are more than happy to offer. We don't mind doing it. We'll do it ten times a year if we, if we have the need for it. It's a big part of the business is educating the, the public and uh, trying to alleviate the problems before, you know, before they have to call us type of thing. But, <laughs> but public education and training aside, there really only is one priority for firefighters. But the most important thing is to make sure you are out of the house. That is the most important thing. If man built the house, they can rebuild the house, but they cannot rebuild it. To find out more about what demonstrations are available in your area, contact your local fire department. In Port Alberni, I'm Nancy Wilmot. Does that work a lot easier now? <laughs>